All right, friends, so we are going to uh, do a quick cast off here. So if you've watched the videos, I have them labeled on uh, making your slip knot, casting on, doing your basic knit stitch, and now we're going to do our cast off. So how do we get this awesome um, creation of ours off of our needle, okay? So again, we start out with our empty needle in our dominant hand. And what I'm gonna do, friends, is I am going to knit two stitches onto my red needle here. So I'm gonna take my yarn and I have one, two. So I've got two stitches here onto on my red um, needle. So now what I wanna do is I wanna take the, the first stitch that I put on, stitch number one, and I wanna hop it over and off of the needle. So I'm gonna take my blue needle here, I'm gonna go right in, I'm gonna bring this stitch up and over top of my red needle and slide it off. So now I just have one stitch on my red needle, all right? So I'm gonna do, I need two stitches so I can always hop one over. So in I go, in, around, I'm taking it through and off, our regular knit stitch, take that back stitch, that first stitch, the original stitch that was on there, I'm gonna take it up and over. Slide it right off there. All right, in, around, through, and off. Take that back stitch over the front stitch. In, around, through, and off, back stitch, over the front stitch. All right, just so you know, friends, if you're like, oh, Miss Suzanne, I'm really struggling using my needle, that's okay, check it out. In, around, through, and off, and then I can take my little pinchers here, take my back stitch, pull it up, and over. Okay, so you can use your hands however it's gonna be easiest. And see what's happening here? We're creating this nice little bond, uh, straight line here of the stitches that we just uh, bind it up there, all right? So remember, if you ever have three stitches on the red needle, ah, we messed up, we gotta take a stitch off. All right. There you go. And I think friends, I was also showing you in my last video on how I hold my yarn and I was taking my little pinky and bringing it here. I forgot you need to wrap it around before you come up and wrap it twice around your pointer. Okay. In, around, through and off. Then we take our very last up and over. So now, this is empty, we set this aside. I gotta get my scissors here. All right, give a little snip. Get my, one of my needles. Should've had this all set, but I didn't have it ready. All right, so I've got my needle, my little darning needle. I'm going to get my yarn thread it through that darning needle, that big white eye. All right, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go down right beside, so it's pointing down. All right, bring it right through, slide that red needle off, boom, there we go, we finished it up. Now, the other thing I wanna to talk to you about in this video, clear our space off here, is weaving in the ends. A lot of times we're thinking, oh, this is gonna be great, I'm just gonna snip right at the very edge there, but then we do a lot of wear and tear with our knitting sometimes. A lot of times we knit things that we wanna wear, and so uh, it needs to be a little bit more durable, and if we just snip and make knots, then the knots can come undone and everything can um, kind of unwind. So what we wanna do is kind of weave the ends in. So let's take a good look right here, friends. You can see how we have some bumps, some bumps that go up and some bumps that go down, all right? All you're gonna do with this is you're gonna go down through one of those bumps, all right? And you're gonna come down again through a bump, all right? Then you're gonna go over, and you're gonna go down, and you're gonna go down again, and then you're gonna go up, 
and you're gonna go down and you're gonna go up and this time when you go over you're gonna take it to the left down and up and then we're ready to give a little tug and there you go it's kind of you can give a snip now and you can't even see it kind of disappears into your knitting so there you go look at that easy peasy and it's woven in there and it can't just easily come out and unweave okay so there you go that's how you weave in the ends so we cast off and we also we're weaving in the ends i have another end to weave in and then we're all done all right there you go loveys thanks